Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I promised you that my random haul was not everything that I purchased. And what I left out was, well, I have another bag of stuff, but I did end up purchasing a whole bunch more of the Tom Ford private eyeshadows. I got some of the eye coal intense like eyeliners and I even got the eye gloss to give a shot. So if you're interested in seeing me try out some of these things, for the first time on camera um, and to give you my thoughts and reviews and if you want to see swatches and things like that then just keep on watching. So a couple weeks ago I ran out and I purchased um, six or seven of the new Tom Ford private shadows. Those are those single shadows and I fell in love with them. I you know at first I was like What's Tom Ford playing at? Why do I have to buy each shadow like one at a time? I don't understand this. What's wrong with the quads? I think you should come out with bigger palettes. Why singles? I was just going on and on. But anyway, I am all in now. I love them. I have fallen in love with them. I think they're just really good eyeshadows. I really do. So I purchased 10 more of them and uh, decided to pick up some of the ultra suede shadows, which I did not get in my first haul. So let's start from the tippy tippy top. So the very first Ultra Suede shadow I got is Starlet, and it is this really lovely, warm, kind of like biscuit color. Absolutely love this. And these Ultra Suede matte shadows go on like cream. They are so soft and so beautiful. Yeah, and I just love them. Next up in Ultra Suede, I got Vertigo, which is this very cool toned kind of taupe almost bordering on gray but a little bit warmer than gray but definitely um, cooler than like a, a regular beige so this is vertigo very very beautiful i also purchased blonde venus another ultra suede and this is a great kind of all over the lid shade it has like a bit of a warmer tone to it i just love it it's again it's just very very beautiful great everyday color and then the last ultra suede uh, color that I purchased is Dark Victory, and it's this kind of deep, dark brown color that leans a little bit cool. The undertone for this particular brown is more kind of gray versus red, so very, very nice. So those are all the ultra suedes that I got. Let's move into the suede uh, shadows that I purchased. This one is Hush, and this is just a great kind of satin neutral, great kind of like brow bone or all over the lid shade. Love Hush, and also got Burnt Suede. I don't even know how this one passed my radar the first time around, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It is almost like the suede version of Vertigo. So here's Vertigo and here's Burnt Suede. Um, again, Nat on Flower Bomb um, kind of raved about this one, and I was like, why don't I have it? So thanks to her, I picked it up. And then the last suede shade, suede shade that I purchased is Videotape and this one is a little bit different so it's a really rich uh, dark brown with like a very heavy red undertone and even though it's part of the suede family it has micro glitters in it so the base of it is sort of that demi matte has a slight satin sheen to it and then there are these like silver micro glitters in it it's really pretty it's a lot of fun um, so that's Videotape and then I purchased two sateen finish shades this one is Iris Bronze, and I believe Mona picked this one up, the Glam Dr. Mona Con. She picked this one up and she was like, girl, why don't you have that one? I was like, I don't know, why don't I have that one? So I picked this up, she was right. This is such a beautiful bronzy copper color, and the sateen finish is, is like this suede finish, like bumped up a little bit. So it has that satin, um, finish to it, but it's just a little bit more reflective. Nothing crazy. Nothing like the uh, vinyl finish. Is that right? Vinyl? I think it's vinyl. Ultra vinyl? Anyway, um, so this is a sateen shade. Again, iris bronze. And I also got the um, silver screen shade, again, in the sateen finish. Just a beautiful, um, deep, rich kind of charcoal gray color. This is really, really beautiful. It's a great um, one color kind of like smoky look if you want to do that and then I purchased um, another payette color and this is in fire sign these were not available um, when they first released all of the shades this one was kind of missing everywhere it's out of stock online um, it was missing at the Neiman Marcus that I purchased all the other ones at and um, when I was at the Nordstrom in Chicago the woman pulled it out she was like we just finally got these in and I 
was like yes yes please it's such a beautiful beautiful color again it's like it's almost like the payette version of this iris bronze it has that same it's a little bit more um coppery than the iris bronze so those are the 10 new um private eyeshadows that i purchased you can tell i kind of went very super neutral um, at first I thought, oh, well, these are such special little eyeshadows. I was going to get like kind of funkier colors or colors that I wouldn't use every day. But because I fell in love with the formula, I was like, I want everyday shades. I want shades that I can wear every day and use every day and really kind of like dig in. So I'm happy with the, the 10 that I got. I did purchase the eye gloss. So you'll see in my demo that I put it on and well, I'll let you, I'll let you watch it in the, in the demo and, um, and what I think of it, but yeah, it's a little, it's definitely a little bit weird. It's definitely a little bit, uh, I think there's a learning curve and I'm definitely gonna play around with it a little bit more. And just some other kind of random Tom Ford stuff that I got. I purchased the Tom Ford eyeshadow blend brush with my Sephora coupon that they had for Black Friday. I think it was like $25 off 50. So anyway, I picked up another one of the eyeshadow brushes, which is this one. This is the round blend brush. It's the number 13 brush. I love it. I also picked up another uh, fiber brow gel and espresso. It's still in the wrapper. I just bought it back up because I heard that they're discontinuing it. So um, I saw it available on the Tom Ford site. So I picked it up. I think they've restocked at Sephora at this point. So I may get another one just to have because I cannot be without it. Mm -hmm. So a friend of mine actually recommended I try their Eye Coal Intense, which is their eyeliners, their pencil eyeliners. And um, I was complaining about how I have a very hard time getting eyeliners to stay put. They always transfer, especially when I tight line. When I tight line, they transfer to like my lower lash line. No matter how long I sit there and like let, let it set, it always, by the end of the day, you know, all the blinking, it just, it just transfers. And not just, you know, I understand it's gonna transfer a little bit, I get it, but like a lot. Like I look awful by the end of the day. So um, she said, try the Tom Ford ones. Definitely give them a whirl. So I picked up Metallic Mink. That was the shade that she recommended, and it's gorgeous. It is a brown um, eyeliner with a metallic, like the name, Metallic Mink, but it has this metallic sheen to it. It's so gorgeous, and I'll give you a closer up swatch of this, but it is so beautiful. It has the most beautiful, beautiful finish. I just absolutely love it, and out of all the eyeliners I've tried, this one transfers the least. The Ardency In Monster Supercharged Eyeliner, one of those, it's called um, their pencil eyeliner. Those are very, very close to these. Those do not transfer very much for me either, but I like the colors of the Tom Ford. The Monster ones are very, or the Ardency In ones are very, um, you know, just rock solid, you know, black, brown, navy. They do have a gold one, but it's gold. Um, so I like this. I like this brown with like the metallic shift to it. It's very, very pretty. So I picked that up. I also picked up metallic moss and they all come with these uh, sharpeners, these little Tom Ford sharpeners. And metallic moss is much like the metallic mink, but green. <laughs> so there is metallic moss. And I also picked up midnight which is like a navy blue and it has like a little bit i wouldn't go so far as to call it like a metallic midnight but it does have like a little bit of a something going on in there very very pretty so those are the three eye coal intense crayons that i picked up with this whole release with the private eyeshadows and the new mascaras and this eye gloss um i believe they're re-promoting these i don't believe these are new but i think that they did release new colors so i think the white one and the tourmaline are the two new colors for these eye coal intense and if those speak to you i would definitely give them a shot um let's get into the demo now i'm going to use um a bunch of the private eyeshadows and then i'm going to be testing this out for the first time and i'm also going to be applying the midnight um eye intense liner as well so first i'm going to start with the hush shade which is in the suede finish and i'm going to use a wayne goss number 16 brush it's a fairly big uh, fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid from lash to brow and I'm going to try and use the little mirror in here. I want to see how functional it is. Next I'm going to go in with Burnt Suede which is another suede finish shadow and I'm going to use a little bit of a smaller blending brush. 
the number 17 by Wayne Goss. And I'm going to focus that on the outer uh, V area of each eye and maybe go into my crease a little bit. Um, and I am successfully using just this little mirror to do this makeup, so maybe it's functional. All right, I've moved to a larger mirror because at that master class I took with Jerry Johnson at the Laura Mercier event at the Nordstrom in Chicago, he said to always, you know, do your makeup and then always step back and take a look. And I think, I think people do that naturally, but I tend to forget, especially if I'm just sort of, you know, going in and doing eyeshadow or something, you know, I tend to kind of like forget to just sort of step back and take a look and see what's happening, make sure it's even on both sides, make sure it's going in the direction that I want. So anyway, <laughs> I'm using a larger mirror now. Next I'm going to use videotape, which is also a suede finish, and I'm going to go in with the Wayne Goss number 18 brush, which is like a little bit of a flatter brush. It doesn't take much to pick up that amount of pigment, so I'm going to kind of just uh, swipe it off on the back of my hand, just to make sure we're not going in too strong. And I'm just going to pat that again on the outer corner of my eye, but I'm going to focus it closer to my lash line. I love how effortless these shadows are. And then I think I'm gonna try this Vertigo Ultra Suede color. I don't know if it's a little bit too cool for what I'm going for, but I just wanna kinda of lightly dust that from the inner corner of my lid over to where I stopped with that videotape. I just wanna put a nice kinda of like base down because I eventually wanna put the um, paillette uh, color fire sign kind of in the middle of my lid and then use that eye gloss. So let's give this a shot. I'm going to use a small blending brush. This is the Wayne Goss number 19. Okay, I kind of like that. The color comes off a touch warmer on my lid than it looks in the pan, like a teensy, teensy bit. All right, so I'm going to go in with Fire Sign, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use my finger. You know, I don't think that's the color that I want. It's a little bit too coppery for what I've got going on. I have, I don't know, I ended up with kind of like a cool smoky look. So let me see if I can just sort of dust that away and we'll go in with a different Paya color. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try the Breathless Payette color. This is the one that's a very kind of cool taupey color. So I think this will work a little bit better. Onto the center of my lid. It's very pretty. It's very subtle. It's just like a like a topper. Okay, I've got that onto the center of my lids. I hope you guys can see that. Um, I'm experiencing the tiniest amount of fallout. I see some glitters just right underneath my lower lash line here. So for the product that I've been most curious about, here is the eye gloss. The almost the exact same packaging as the lip gloss, except the lip gloss has like a brush applicator this has like a doe foot applicator so um i think i'm just gonna apply it right onto my lid or should i you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna kind of wipe it off onto the back of my hand because i don't want to kind of contaminate the rest of this gloss and i'm gonna use my finger and tap it on pick up some of it it's not very sticky which is good I don't know how I feel about this gloss. I'm also not sure if I'm using it properly, but I feel like maybe I need to use more. Maybe I'm being too light-handed with it. So let's, let's try some more. What I do like about this eye gloss is that it is not sticky at all. It feels weightless. Like I don't feel like I have goop on my eyelids, which is what I was afraid of. So that is a good thing. I feel a little bit lukewarm about this, but I think now that I actually have it on and I'm taking a closer look, I'm wondering if I just used a really dark eyeshadow and then just swipe this on top, if that would look okay. I think maybe I had a little bit too much going on underneath the gloss, like maybe the Payette um, breathless color was a little bit too much like maybe you want to use one or the other and I'm also realizing that I probably should have put some eyeliner on before I did that so I'm gonna line my lower lash line and I'm gonna see like 
what happens to this gloss after it kind of dries out a little bit. So I have those uh, three eye coal intense crayons and I think I'm gonna use, um, I've been using metallic mink, so I think I'm gonna use Midnight, which is the navy blue. That is very pretty. And I'm gonna take a smudger brush and kind of smudge that out a little bit. This is the Morphe M508. So the eye gloss, let me go in with a clean finger here. It's definitely, you know, it doesn't set down in any way, which I didn't expect it to. I just thought maybe, possibly, um, but it's still just there on my eyes. I don't think they do much other than kind of make my eyelids look sweaty. And I feel like it's just sort of melting off the eyeshadow that I had on underneath. I don't know, we'll have to keep playing. All right, let me try and apply eyeliner over this eye gloss. I really did not plan this well, but maybe what I can do is tight line. Okay, I think that's all I can do. It's getting kind of messy up there. All right, so uh, let me curl my eyelashes, uh, put on some mascara, put on the rest of my face, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I can safely say that I really love all of these private eyeshadows that I've tried. The formulas are great. They're just really, really easy to work with, blendable, pigmented, you know, all of the good things that eyeshadows should be. Um, the eye gloss, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. I don't think I'm using it correctly, but I also don't think it should be a guessing game. I think, I feel like if you want to just add a little bit of a wet look to your lid, you should be able to just pat some on and be good to go. And you know, it's not sticky, which is great, but I think it should be maybe a little bit stickier. Like it's a little bit too loose. And I think it kind of like moved my shadow around underneath. I don't know. I don't know if I worked it too hard. Anyway, I think this is a no-go, but I am definitely gonna keep using it. And if I change my mind about it, I will let you know. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please let me know down below in the comment section if you have any questions and I will see you in my next video.